Voyager 1 is approaching a milestone no spacecraft has ever reached, one full light day from Earth. At that distance, every command takes 24 hours to arrive, and every reply takes another 24 hours to return. It's a quiet but meaningful point in the mission, showing how far the spacecraft has traveled and how communication with it changes as it moves deeper into interstellar space. In this video, we will explore what this milestone means, the science behind it, and what comes next for Voyager 1. Let's get started. Voyager 1's approach to one light day marks a new stage in a mission that has been moving steadily outward since 1977. A light day represents the distance light travels in 24 hours, around 16 billion miles or 26 billion kilometers. Based on its current speed of about 38,000 miles per hour, Voyager will cross this distance in November 2026, becoming the first human-made object to reach it while still operating. This milestone does not signal a change in the spacecraft's physical condition, but it does affect how the mission team interacts with it. Communication delay is already close to a full day, and reaching one light day makes that delay unavoidable for every future exchange. This means each instruction must be planned carefully, tested thoroughly, and scheduled well in advance because every correction takes two days to complete. It's a slow, deliberate rhythm that defines the remainder of the mission. The milestone also highlights Voyager's position beyond the sun's influence. Since 2012, the spacecraft has been outside the heliopause, the boundary that separates the solar wind from the interstellar medium. Reaching one light day doesn't drastically change its environment, but it emphasizes its growing separation from the region shaped by the sun's magnetic field. Each additional measurement Voyager sends helps scientists refine their understanding of this boundary and the forces acting on it. Despite its age, Voyager remains capable of collecting meaningful data. Only a few instruments are still active each selected to match the spacecraft's diminishing power supply. Even so, these instruments provide information on plasma behavior, magnetic field changes, and charged particles in the surrounding space. The data rate is slow, just 160 bits per second, but it remains sufficient for tracking key features of this distant environment. Voyager's long, uninterrupted trajectory is another reason this milestone is notable. After its encounter with Saturn in 1980, the spacecraft followed a path out of the plane of the solar system and has never changed course. This consistency allows engineers to calculate its distance with precision. The approach to one light day reflects not only its physical motion, but also the stability of a mission that has continued far longer than originally expected. The scientific significance of Voyager 1's position comes from its ability to gather direct measurements in a region no other spacecraft has entered. Most knowledge of the interstellar medium comes from remote observations and computer models. Voyager offers something different, in-situ data that show how conditions actually behave far beyond the sun's protective bubble. One of the most important findings so far is the variability of the interstellar environment. Early models depicted this region as relatively stable, but Voyager has recorded fluctuations in plasma density and magnetic field orientation, as well as changes in the flow of energetic particles. These observations refine theories of how the heliosphere interacts with the surrounding galaxy and how forces from outside the solar system influence the shape and behavior of the boundary region. Another major scientific value lies in the mission's longevity. Because Voyager has been operating for nearly five decades, its data provide a long, continuous timeline. This multi-decade record is essential for understanding how the heliosphere expands, contracts, and responds to both solar activity and external pressure. No short-duration mission could offer this kind of context. The combination of duration and distance makes Voyager's contributions uniquely valuable. The spacecraft's autonomy also offers lessons for future missions. As communication delays grow, Voyager relies more heavily on its built-in ability to maintain orientation 
and respond to minor issues without immediate guidance from Earth. These automated safety systems were designed in the 1970s, yet they still function reliably. This shows how crucial autonomous capability is for any mission that travels far beyond the reach of real-time control. Engineers planning next-generation probes, including those intended to explore the outer heliosphere or interstellar space, study Voyager closely to understand what long-term resilience requires. Voyager's findings also support broader theories about interstellar exploration. They show that meaningful scientific progress does not require fast or advanced propulsion. Even a spacecraft traveling at a fraction of a percent of the speed of light can cross significant boundaries and deliver useful measurements. This reinforces the feasibility of interstellar precursor missions. Probes designed not to reach other stars, but to study the space just beyond the heliosphere in greater detail. In essence, Voyager's approach to one light day is scientifically important, not because of the number itself, but because it reflects a position that continues to produce data, challenge assumptions, and expand our understanding of how the solar system fits into the larger galactic environment. Reaching one light day introduces several practical considerations for the mission. The most immediate is the operational constraint created by communication delays. Commands must be prepared with extra care, since any mistake can take days to diagnose and correct. This requires more planning and less intervention, reinforcing the need to trust Voyager's onboard systems to manage routine functions on their own. The spacecraft's remaining lifespan is another important factor. Voyager's radioisotope generators lose output each year, meaning that some instruments will eventually need to be shut down to preserve essential functions. Scientists estimate that the probe may continue sending usable data into the early 2030s. After that, the remaining power may be enough only to transmit a carrier signal until even that becomes impossible. Planning for this gradual decline involves prioritizing which measurements matter most and ensuring the spacecraft remains stable long enough to collect them. The milestone also shapes how engineers think about future deep space missions. Voyager demonstrates the challenges of operating at extreme distances. Long delays, limited power, slow data rates, and no possibility of real-time adjustments. Future missions designed to go farther, perhaps to the Oort cloud or beyond, must account for these constraints from the start. Concepts for an interstellar probe, for example, draw heavily on Voyager's experience to design systems that are more autonomous, more resilient, and better suited to multi-decade operations. Another implication concerns perspective. A light day is an enormous distance in human terms, but it is tiny compared to a light year. Even the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is more than four light years away. Voyager's milestone highlights both the strength and the limitations of current propulsion technologies. It illustrates how far we have gone and how far we still have to go if humanity intends to explore beyond the sun's neighborhood. Finally, the milestone carries a symbolic dimension. Voyager 1 continues its journey with the golden record on board, a message intended for any civilization that might encounter it. As the spacecraft drifts farther from Earth, it becomes not only a scientific instrument, but also a reminder of humanity's early steps into interstellar space. Its growing distance underscores the quiet, persistent nature of exploration. Voyager 1. Reaching one light day is a quiet but historic step into interstellar space. Its final years will continue refining what we know about our solar system's boundary and long after it falls silent, its journey will remain one of humanity's defining achievements.